Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video we are 3D printing an explosive paintball bullet that I designed. So basically what I've done is I've taken these really cheap verniers or calipers that I had laying around. I do have electronic ones as well, but this will do for today's video. And here is my paintball gun barrel. So I measured the inside of the barrel and around 16 millimeters because it's also around 0.68 of an inch. Um, that gave me the outer diameter for the bullet, and then what we're going to be using for these bullets are two things. First of all, the charge is going to be, sorry if it's hard to see, these small pistol primers, which are basically just like, almost like a cap for a cap gun, but made of metal and obviously a lot more loud. So I measured the diameter of one of those, and also, in this Tic Tac box here, I have all of these weights. They're they're called 6mm dowels, they're used for like assembly of machines and stuff. So here's one right here. This is going to go in the back of the bullet to provide a mass and something to strike the primer for it to explode. So on my computer here, I'll show you guys real quick the design I made. So I made it 25mm long by the 16mm wide that I measured. Let me zoom in for you here. This is where the primer will sit, right in the head of the bullet. Then in the back, as you can see, hopefully it is a bigger hole for that dowel I showed you. This hole right here is for the dowel. Oops. That hole is for the dowel right there. It goes almost to the top. And then this little hole is for the primer. So right now it is printing on my mini 3D printer. I'll see if I can show you guys a zoomed in angle here a little bit. So there it is printing away. It's probably got about half an hour left. Then we're going to go ahead and load up the charges and shoot it out of my paintball gun. So here we are in my garage. As you can see, here are the empty 3D printed cartridges that I made. Basically a cylinder with a hole in the bottom and a smaller hole in the top. As you can tell, it looks a lot like the design I made. Anyway, so now it's time to make them completely loaded. Here is one fully loaded example. I'll show you outside in the better lighting in one second. But there is the weight in the back of it, the dowel pin. And there is the primer in the top, which I have all secured with some two-part five-minute epoxy. So I'm going to go ahead and make up the other two in my shop right here. Then we'll go ahead and shoot some trees. Here we go. So here we've got all three of our newly created bullets with weights in the backs. And some of them even have two primers in the front because they would fit. So there's double chance of explosion. The epoxy is nice and hard. And it looks like on all of them it sticks out just a little bit. So we should be able to get an explosion. I'm going to try first shooting them at a tree or something. Then maybe if that doesn't work something harder like some concrete. I've also got some electrical tape. I'm going to wrap some of them because you want a nice airtight seal. And they wiggle around a little bit. So I'm going to provide... Then with a bit more sealing with some electrical tape. And anyway, let's go ahead and get to the shooting tests. Alright, so here we go with the shooting tests. My gun, by the way, is some stealth gun I picked up for real cheap. And I just figured out that it has a CO2 leak. So when I screw in the CO2, it just leaks out the barrel. Uh, but I do want to finish the video, so we're going to go ahead and do it a little unconventionally. And go ahead and load the bullet in first. Then I got this screwdriver to pry it down with all the way to the back. Or at least as far as that is. Which is pretty darn close I'd say. I'm going to cock the gun in the rear position. So the leaking CO2 will take the hopper exit more than the barrel. So let's go ahead and quickly throw in the CO2. And do our first shooting test. And of course because we're dealing with a gun and explosives. I'm going to quickly go ahead and put on my safety glasses. So let's thread it in. Hopefully it doesn't exit the barrel before I want it to. And then we're going to go ahead and shoot that tree right there. Alright, here we go. I'll get on the other side of the camera because it just makes more sense. Just like this. And we're going to be shooting, hopefully, that tree right there. Alright, CO2 tank going in. You'll see the leak out the barrel. Alright, here we go shooting the tree. In three, two, one. All right, so that one didn't come out very fast. I'm gonna quickly 
load in another one before we lose all of our CO2 or whatever. So there it is, all the way in. Take two, shooting the tree. Here we go in three, two, one. All right, let's go try to shoot something a little harder. All right, so there's a cinder block I got downrange. I put the last of the three in the barrel. I'm gonna go try and find the other ones for another shot if this works, but let's try this anyway. Gonna go ahead and thread the CO2 on now. Hopefully nothing leaks out the barrel too much. There we go. Not that bad actually. All right, so a test shot at the cinder block. Got my safety glasses on, so I'm ready to go. Firing in three, two, one. All right, maybe try once more with the CO2 turned up. All right, here we go for cinder block take two. Oh, I think that ripped right apart. So here you go, I was able to find the piece and what ended up happening was the 3D printed bullet exploded. So the charge and the metal weight uh, separated from the core of the print. So turns out that that force required to set off the primer is higher than the force required to break my bullets. So unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get much of an explosion out of these bullets. Um, Sorry, I was really excited about this too. I, I'm still going to upload the video because it took a while to design these. The other two are missing somewhere, but you know, all three of these bullets to design and make. So I'll still show you guys this uploading process. And uh, please stay with me here on this one because my next video, I think we're going to get some explosions for sure. Here I have, if you don't know what these are, these are actually empty or hollow paintball shells. Let me try and get some out for you here. Here's two halves right here actually, or three halves I should say. And all they do is they click together just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and fill those up with some shot shell primers. Just like that, maybe a couple of rocks and some shot shell primers and shoot them at some steel again. Maybe I'll even fix or upgrade my paintball gun. So please stay tuned for that. I'm sorry this video didn't work, but stay tuned for this one. I'm sure it'll be cool. Give a thumbs up if you want to see this one. Sorry this didn't work, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process anyway. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.